the wives that wake up 3 a.m. to cook breakfast for their husband before they leave. The wives that just wait by the door to remove the shoe of their husband when he comes back from work. The wife that just sits at home while the husband is like the breadwinner. While some of these things that have been termed traditional are somewhat true, I'm going to show you how you can do some of these things and still be a baddie while at it. If you're a lady that's interested in the elegant, soft, feminine lifestyle, then keep watching this video. Hey besties, what's good? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Judith Rowe. And if you're an OG on this channel, what's good? Welcome, welcome back. It's been a very long time since I did a sit down video, but this video was highly, highly requested by some of my subscribers. Now, oftentimes when I do like my mini vlogs, uh, my weekly vlogs that you guys enjoy so much, um, I get a lot of questions like, uh, you know, some of you guys asking me, Judith, um, I love how you take care of your family. I want to know, give me tips, give me tricks on how to be a body wife, how to be a great mom, you know, and all of that good stuff. And I'm like, mm, I don't know, I just do it. Well, anywho, today I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks of how I do what I do, which is be a buddy housewife, a great homemaker, a mom, and a soft girl. <laughs> Even if you're not married, that's totally fine. These are things that you can still implement in your relationship that you feel might lead to marriage. And if you're married, Great. This year we're gonna be having lots and lots of feminine talks on this channel. I don't have like a glass of water, but I have like a cup full of smoothie. So cheers to more feminine talks ahead. So without further much ado, let's dive deep into this topic and unfold it little by little. So I would like to put a big disclaimer that these are the things that I do, at least from my perspective, the way I live my life, the things that I have been doing over the years, because to God be the glory, I have been married for four years and I have been happy in the marriage. So um, these are the things that I do that works for me and maybe just might work for you or maybe you take one or two tips home. I'm not a relationship expert. These are just the things that I do and these are the things that I thrive you know if you're a lady that's interested in the elegant soft feminine lifestyle then keep watching this video now this topic will not appeal to everybody and that is totally okay the term traditional has like sort of like been demonized wrongfully because most people attribute traditional housewife traditional homemaker to being the slave of the house to being the one that cooks and clean does the laundry says yes sir um bows down to serve her king which is a husband <laughs> um ties rapper look worn out the wives that wake up 3 a.m. to cook breakfast for their husband before they leave. The wives that just wait by the door to remove the shoe of their husband when he comes back from work. The wife that just sits at home while the husband is like the breadwinner. Um, I beg to differ. This is not the woman that we want to become. This is not the woman that we'll be talking about in this video. While some of these things that have been termed traditional are somewhat true not all of them somewhat true i'm gonna show you how you can do some of these things and still be a baddie while at it so i'm not disregarding it and saying it is totally wrong it is awful i have picked i'm a little bit old school so i have picked one or two things from the way our forefathers and mothers used to live and I have like sort of like modernized mine to make it work for me in this modern age and time that we're in. So the first step on how to become a body housewife, a great soul maker and an intentional mom is to get a man. Pause. I know, I know you're gonna come for me. What do you mean by get a man? I'm not saying that chase the man, go and look for him or anything. No, I am a female. I don't chase, I attract. I don't believe in chasing after a man, but when I use the term get a man, obviously you need to have a man 
before you become a wife and I'm not saying that you should go get a man quickly no please do not be pressurized by people that are in a relationship or people that are in you know a marriage take your time take it slow I always believe that there is a man for every woman same way as there is a woman for every man if you guys can hear that sound they just brought the light and the inverter is charging so please don't pay attention to that okay focus on me <laughs> i believe that there is the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh on this earth so please do not rush okay because when you rush you tend to like fall into mistakes and mistakes along the line mm -mm. It leads to like divorce and a whole lot of things okay so take your time be patient and just choose wisely now during the course of getting a man um, let's say you're in the positive talking stage okay I don't really like to dwell deep into like dating and everything because everyone has like different views of how dating should be but I'm just gonna touch on it less, a little bit so you know that there are different talking stage they're like the negative one there is the potential one <laughs> there is the very positive glary one okay so let's say you're in the um, positive glary dating stage and um, there are some things that you should look out for in a man okay we're still on the get a man um, tip there are some things that you should look out for now these days some ladies some not all some ladies tend to get um attracted to the physical attributes okay? when you ask some ladies they'll tell you that i want a tall dark handsome rich guy that drives like a fancy car or that lives on the island or knows how to dress well that drips good i mean i was watching a show i think it's not smirage <laughs> i don't know if those girls are real or anything but the way these girls answer like uh -uh, i don't like you because your shoe is not looking good and when i watch things like this i'm like you don't you've not even gotten to know the person you just bust your balloon because you don't just like the show of the person or you feel the, the person is not dressed right and i'm like ah. <laughs> you know it doesn't really make sense so these are like the physical attributes the things that you can see I'm not saying that don't go for a fine man. It's okay, but I feel like ladies should be finding a new man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I want to be the fine one. I'm not saying go and date an ugly man, but I want to be the fine one, okay? I can be fine but for the both of us, all right? My beauty is enough for us, period. Anywho, so you get the man. I would like us to look deep into the character of the man now when i say the character how does he treat um women around him the women in his life how does he treat them like how does he treat his mom how does he treat his sisters how does he treat his workers um how does he react to like anger issues how does he react to like failures how does he encourages you to like reach your goals your potentials how does he make himself like available for you how does he try to make you have a good day does he even try at all these are the things that i feel some ladies should look out for when getting the man or when they have almost gotten the man okay um because along the line these things will come to play in marriage and marriage we all want it to be for a very very long time nobody goes into marriage thinking we're gonna get divorced pretty soon no they, they go into marriage you know for the long run except something um that they cannot control happen along the way along the way and yeah that's where the d word can you know come need to know if your man is the kind of man that does the 50 50 method or he's a provider he is the kind of man that just wants you to stay at home and do nothing as i'm asking these questions i know you'll be answering it within yourself like yes he does yes of course i have a man that does this yeah it's one thing to say yes and it's another thing to observe it okay you need to pay close attention observe it day after day event after event so that you can get your answers by yourself because you're the only one that can discover it so now you've gotten the man what next what comes along in this aspect is going to be the ability and the willingness to share responsibilities now in my marriage I know as a woman that I have my duties to perform as my husband also has his duties to perform. He's the provider, I'm the caterer. I cater for the home, he provides for the home. Equation balanced. 
okay i have no problem with it i'm not gonna come on here and say i'm a strong girl i don't need the man to take care of me and blah 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 please take care of me take, take uh, what take good care of me i want to be taken care of and in case you didn't hear that well i'm gonna repeat it i want to be taken care of say with me i want to be taken care of. it is okay for you to want to be taken care of i have my users to perform and i will perform them diligently it is my job to make sure that the house is clean it is my job to make sure that the kids are catered for it is my job to make sure that there is food on the table when my man brings in all those things that can help me do it that is us working as a team together so you need to do these things now most people like i said believe that the traditional housewife has to cook clean be a slave and all of that i am not a slave in my house like for example i have people that come to clean for me i don't have a chef and that's because i enjoy cooking okay so these are the things that makes us work together when it goes out to you know hustle for the daily bread and all of that he comes back home to a happy neat and home-cooked meal so the second aspect is don't become a liability now being a housewife a homemaker a stay-at-home girlfriend doesn't mean that you should just be there with nothing to do not everyone is caught up for a nine to five i am not caught up for a nine to five i feel like it's too stressful having to meet the, the demand of somebody okay i don't like it i have never liked it and i will never like it so i am an entrepreneur i have like several businesses that i do and um i'm thriving at it so you can be like a stay-at-home girlfriend a stay-at-home wife a well-kept babes and still be thriving some people have shops uh, where they sell like groceries some people have like you know spas some people have like supermarkets some people have like um, car wash like there are different different things that you can do some people have their businesses online and it's thriving because you don't have to ask him for every single thing he doesn't need to provide for every single thing like him buying your pad like baby I need money for pad that, that, that that's just rubbish like if you're here you're gonna come down here and we don't want that it's only from here upwards okay so you need to not become a liability always have a good source of income coming your way because not every time he's gonna be spoiling you sometimes you need to like show the love back and spoil him back and be like this is my babe this is my girl this is my girl this is my wife you know it makes men happy when you can also do things for them some ladies believe that no everything should just be done for me no it's a give and take kind of situation okay so do not become a liability and you're going to like you know succeed in being like a buddy housewife and for those people that are like in nine to five that's totally okay that is why i said in the beginning when you get to men these are the things that you should look out for is he comfortable with you having a nine to five does he encourage you to do that you know if it's okay with it then i don't see any problem why you guys can't you know leave that way but if he's not comfortable with it if you guys don't have that discussion and along the way you guys get married then you start saying things like um imagine he's not even supporting my dreams he doesn't want me to like work and he said he said i should just stay at home blah blah, blah. did you have the discussion mm -hmm. not everything should just be kept mute say it's no it's op opinion your own opinion does it balance if no then walk away okay so these are the things that we should know when we get the man and they were not like you know the liability i would also like to know that there are some men that don't like their wife to do anything they just want to provide while she be a babe if you're okay with it honey there is nothing wrong with that carry on but please save some money that's all i'm gonna say maybe another video i'm going to talk about that but if you don't like to work at all you just your man just takes care of you please save some money period so the third tip is going to be learn how to feed now by this i mean food it is a well-known fact that most men love home cooked food they love to come home to eat apart from men i love to come home to eat i love home cooked meal more than anything i see a lot of women say things like i can't cook for him till we're married that's okay that's fine but what if he says i can't provide for you till we're married what are you gonna say are you gonna say well that means it's not the one for me that means you're selfish you're selfish guys 
barely ask for things they ask for like the bare minimum let's be realistic and when i say guys we're talking about the ones that have sense <laughs> because there are a lot of girls and guys that don't have sense okay so we're talking about the potential man like you know the good ones that we see ourselves with in the long run they don't really require for so much what are like the bare minimum that you can do for them buying a lady gifts you have so many options buying a man gifts you have little options so many people like i beg don't worry i don't want gifts but what are like the acts of kindness i can show you feel me so you don't expect a man to keep providing for you and you do nothing in return these are the things that happens that you have to like observe and can my babe cook can um my man provide okay you need to know all these things before you enter marriage you guys can't keep buying food daily eventually the money will finish you might even get food poisoning so try to cook sometimes okay don't be saying i can't be doing wifey duties when you're not married and then if you're gonna say that please don't expect him to do husbandy or husbandly duties before you guys get married and we all know how girls are girls like to be taken care of girls they love when guys buy things for them they love when guys spend on them and you know do other stuff all the other husband stuffs for them they love when guys pay their rents for them you know they love things like that so the bare minimum have you ever paid a guy's rent have you ever like you know put fuel in his car have you ever bought a guy's car like guys they do these things some guys not all of them okay some guys they do these things so what are the things that you can do for them also like i said food okay let's not go out of context if your man loves a home cooked meal try to do that okay it might not be every time okay but try as much as possible to do that and if you don't know how to cook there is no shame in that okay that is why you need to date an understanding man if you don't know how to cook no shame in that you guys talk about it and maybe you have a chef and um, when the chef is cooking try to be there in the kitchen with the chef maybe the chef is doing like the chopping the washing of the meats you are doing the the adding in the pot okay um, chef Toby should I put this in now yes ma'am please you can do that you know you're learning from the chef and um, when your husband or your boyfriend you know, walks by, sees you in the kitchen, he smiles, not just because you're in the kitchen and you're doing rubbish. No, it's because of the intentions, okay? It's the intentions we're talking about. It makes them happy. Not everybody has the money to like, you know, hire a chef that, you know, stays in or comes and goes. That's fine. You could just put your laptop in the kitchen or your iPad in the kitchen and just learn some recipes from YouTube growing up i never used to be in the kitchen my sisters and i we never used to be in the kitchen we'll always be in our rooms pressing our phones and my mom would just be in the kitchen and then they'll be saying things like how are you going to learn how to cook how are you going to cook for your husband they'll say we did not train you well this, that, 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 yada, yada, yada. i would just be pressing phone i think this was when i got to the university that i was like wait so i'm now staying on my own i need to learn how to cook and honestly or luckily for me it did not really take me so long because i just love experimenting and that's one thing that will help you if you don't know how to cook try and experiment trust me there is no right or wrong way to cook you could create a new recipe on your own with the ingredients that you put in okay if you're scared of salt try not to put too much when a person is eating the person can put salt because it's only salt that can spoil food <laughs> honestly speaking yeah okay maybe one of the things that can spoil food is just it's just uh it's just salt so anywho so i kept trying and trying i know how they say practice makes perfect so maybe you could do that you just have to you just need to have like the willingness to try to, you know to experiment and before you know it to become a pro at it you don't have to be the one to um do the laundry um, your maid can actually do the laundry in my house sometimes not all the time I do the laundry all I just have to do is grab my husband's clothes put it in the washing machine it, you know it washes it rinses it dries and I just fold and put it in his wardrobe or the maid just washes the clothes but I must make sure that I take it and put it in his wardrobe most times when he comes back from work he sees his wardrobe is all arranged his clothes is all arranged there's this smile that just comes up on his face imagine it's making me smile right now <laughs> this smile that just comes up on his face and he's like oh, babe thank you so much i'm like for what what happened he's like my clothes are all clean i'm like oh, it's fine 
it didn't really stress me like that because I outsource for help okay like there is always help I'm not using my hand to like wash clothes I have a washing machine so you don't need to see it as a big deal to like oh, why would I wash his clothes or anything you are not using your hands you're not it's a washing machine okay so things like sweeping of the house mopping of the house I don't enjoy doing it I thrive in the kitchen I don't enjoy doing um, sweeping or mopping or cleaning the bathroom so I have um, helps that you know they do that for me so that is why my house is always always clean so my husband comes back to a clean home you know everyone is happy I love a clean home also I'm not a dirty girl so I'm happy he's happy everyone is happy over the years you guys now decide that okay it's time to have you know a baby or babies okay and whichever way you guys decide to have a baby maybe by yourself or through surrogacy or adoption a child is a child eventually have a child it's time to like nurture your child now these things that i've mentioned in the past are coming to play things like um you know feeding your child because that is how i feel i make a great mom i feed my children one of the ways rather is i feed my children okay and i have no problem feeding my children because i have already nurtured my husband <laughs> i have already fed him when we're alone okay when we're in the relationship even things like he things that he might not have liked i experimented and made him like it not forcefully but lovingly okay so i experimented and that is why i have no problem when my child says i don't like carrots or stuff like that child carrots is good for you you're gonna eat your veggies okay so now that i know that my kids don't like carrots this is where my experimenting comes to play because over the years I have learned it. So I grate the carrots, I put it into the pancake and they eat it. They have their veggies, they've had breakfast. I'm happy, they're happy, they're well fed, period. <laughs> so these are the things that you need to do. Your kids need to like, you know, be well fed, be well catered for. My husband doesn't really like to do like shopping, you know, stuff like that for the kids, but he provides. And that is where I thrive also. I shop for the kids. I love to shop for the kids. And sometimes he would just say, I'm like, huh, but babe, when did you buy this? Or when did you buy that? You know? So these are the things that you do. Most kids, they love to see their mom. They love to see their dad. Now, while I understand that we also have a nine to five boss babes that might not be around to like see their child almost every time or might not have the luxury of time because sometimes life just hits you and um, you gotta work to make sure the family is moving forward. What I do when I have like some very, very busy days, I make sure that when I am driving, I have this thing that I just mount on my dashboard and um, I put my phone there and I video call my kids. We gave them a phone, like we just put a phone in the house so that I can video call them. They tell me what they had for breakfast, for dinner, if Ava was being naughty or Andrew was being a good boy or you know, we just talk. I may not even understand what they're saying, but we talk, they see me. Sometimes they just press the phone or they tell their nanny that oh, they want to talk to mommy and then they video call me, okay? so. I may not have the luxury of time throughout the day but maybe i'm in the restroom or i'm in um, the car driving they know that they can talk to me do you understand what i'm saying growing up my mom used to wake up by five o'clock six o'clock to make breakfast for us before she goes to work there are some people that might not even make breakfast and i'm not you know downplaying anyone's effort or anything but the way that i you know I, I become intentional about what my kids eat is if I know I'm gonna have a busy day I will make breakfast before I go these are the things that I said I've learned from my mom because I'm kind of like old, old school in you know some certain way I picked one or two things from the way my parents leave you know the good ones and everything and I imbibe it into my own family so now they know that mommy's gonna make something very yummy before they wake up so i do all these things i experiment i play with them there are some people that they love the fact that their wife is at home with the kids you know their their mind is at rest and um, i think my family is that way i love to be at home my husband knows that oh 
babies at home so don't worry he's he's well rested like he's he's at ease because i am around i think it's very very interesting but if you gotta work if you have to become a nine to five boss babe that's totally fine um you know just try and do like the video calls or during the weekend you can make sure that they see a whole lot of mommy because most kids they tend to love mommy better than daddy i don't know why they just keep calling mommy 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 why i don't know but mommy is always there for them okay so these are the way that i nurture my kids i feed them i'm always interested in their studies uh, this is my own point of view i'm sure if you ask my husband his own points he's gonna tell you you know his old duties the way he performs you know and stuff like that like we have this very good understanding that makes us cohabit very very well i'm always very present i'm always very intentional in everybody's life because when i'm around they know that mommy's around like i love it I love it so much last but not the least as I always say in most of my family uh, talks is self-care the meantime now I have taken care of everybody my husband I'm taking care of my husband he has eaten well he's good the house is clean sparkling there's food in the house um, the kids are well taken care of they've had their bath you know they're good like everyone is good it's time for me to become good and that is why i don't joke with my self-care time my me time prior to um, being married i used to have this very very flat sexy stomach and i got you know pregnant and obviously my tummy expanded you know and i was like mm, okay now that i'm done i need to get back to how i used to be before pregnancy so i got myself to the jameson's last year and i have been trying to like get rid of this flabby stomach most people might say oh judy you which which flabby tummy do you have sorry i feel like i have just a little bit okay because i like it when people say you just had a baby wait you mean your baby is one year old and i'm like yes i'm like wow you don't even look it it gives me so much joy so much pride because it means that i'm doing a very good job because trust me doing all of this especially if you're new to it can be very mentally exhausting physically exhausting you might even think that but i'm not sweeping i'm not cleaning but i'm tired your kids will tire you out they have so much energy than you do the fact that you have to like cook for everyone your husband your kids because there are some people that even cook differently for their kids like they have their own food the kids have their own food i don't do that i've tried um over the years to make sure that whatever i eat my kids also eat and so far so good it has been working amazingly for me except when it comes to like Cerulac, you know, Frisa cream, Nutribom and all of that, the baby baby formulas. Um, yeah, whatever I eat basically, they eat. So I don't do that, but I know that there are some people that, you know, cook like different meals. That's totally okay. All kids are, you know, different. So sometimes it can become really draining. So exhausting, you find yourself going tired to bed and all of that. If this becomes like a regular, regular thing that, you know, you're always tired, you will see that you don't have any time for yourself that is why you always have to create a me time there is no army pro at it because honestly speaking i'm sure you know moms in the house will you know will be able to relate to this particular one every day is always the same it's always it almost feels like it's the same type of routine the wake up you bathe them or you make breakfast um you, you cook you do the laundry you go about your business blah 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 you come back dinner before you know it 12 o'clock that is when you're like probably settling down you press your phone around 1 a.m 2 a.m because that is the quiet time in the house you sleep 5 a.m or 6 a.m you're up again so every day is almost like the same day so it can really get mentally exhausting that you find out that you don't have time for yourself but the fact that you've been able to like have out time for your kids your husband take care of the home do not neglect yourself don't ever do that okay because along the line 
you want to like be proud of yourself of how you look you want to feel better and you need to do things that will make you feel better okay and that is something that i don't joke with i go to the gym so that i can have like my pre-baby body back <laughs> my hot body back and to god be the glory after they having it <laughs> anyways i try to eat healthy as much as i can i do my skincare uh, because it's my intention to look younger than my age i know when i announced that i was 30 years old almost everyone could not believe they were like what you're 30 and i'm like yeah these are the things that i like to hear because i don't want to look older than my age uh-uh it's not going to be me i've always wanted to look great to look better to become the best version of myself you know daily to improve on, on things every day to be elegant to be soft you know to be more feminine every day and i have been embracing it all day so that is why it is reflecting because when you look hot you know you are proud of yourself first okay because every time that i do like abs workouts two minutes or two seconds after doing that i look in the mirror and i start seeing this my invisible abs you know what they say the lulu <laughs> it's true <laughs> so yeah i always feel like i have the abs already and then my husband sees i'm like oh baby you've tried because he likes to compliment me and yeah while getting the man get one that compliments you he says he's like oh baby you're fine oh but you look good for what i just gave him it and i'm like i know i know and he'll be like i very good job but it's true I know and that is one thing that we're gonna be doing so much this year self-affirmation like I know I am that girl I am that girl because I see it you see it everyone sees it I want to be the woman that I am proud of the woman that my husband is proud of the woman that my kids are proud of you know when it, you know you know when you go to pick up your kids from school you want people to like oh, is that your mom and your kids friends will be like oh your mom is so cool and your kids will say what i don't yeah she is ah, it makes me so happy I, my kids are not able to start going to school but <laughs> i just visualize myself you know being that way that's what i say about being the lulu it's okay to be the lulu sometimes okay so these are like the things that i do to become a body housewife body which means look good feel good dress well go to the gym it's clean on point and everything uh, housewife being I stay at home with the kids but I have my own businesses going on for me which is going on amazingly okay and a great mom because I am always always intentional with my kids like I don't play with them <laughs> always always intentional Anywho, I like to say that not everything I've said will work for you just the way it's working for me I in no way have like the perfect life or anything but I always try all you need is the willingness to try that's all i always try to do these things and you know it just turns out well basically but anyhow so we've come to the end of this video and i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm going to be doing more of the sit down feminine video over the course of the years and i hope that you're here for it because i am here for it we are glowing in our feminine era this 2024 thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye beautiful